Amen. <clears throat> That's a true song. If we sang it right and do what it say, worship him because of who he is. Not so much as what he do for us, but because of who he is. Hallelujah. Father, we thank you this morning, Lord God, for your grace, your mercy. Father, we exalt you. We honor you, Father. We give you praise and glory. And Lord God, we just thank you for another wonderful day. Father, I am here for you today. Use this vessel clay. Speak to it. Speak through it. Bless your word. Bless your people. Satan, I serve you. Know today the word of God shall and will have free course. Father, we honor you, give you praise, all glory and honor go to you today in Jesus' name. Amen, amen, amen. amen. If you agree with that, give him a hand clap of praise. <laughs> you know, God is a God that wants us to prosper. I said God is a God that want us to prosper in him. Not so much a prospering in material things, but he wants to prosper in spiritual things. The reason I say that because, because he had kept saying over the years, telling the prophet and the leader that there's going to be a savior, a savior, a savior. But where did the savior come from first? He come from glory. He come from the spirit realm first into the earth. Born and walked the earth, earth, preached the gospel, went back to glory. Mission accomplished. God wants us as his children, as his heir, to command the blessing. This is my topic. This is my subject. Command the blessing. See, we read the scripture about how powerful the tongue is. Come on, walk with me. If the tongue that powerful, why can't we speak those things as not as though they were? See, we got to speak it by faith. If God creates, created us after his image and his likeness and give us dominion over the sea, the fish, the fowl of the air over all creeping things, then give us dominion. Dominion means authority. Walk with me. Authority means power. And power means influence. You have authority, which means control. You have power to influence and Influence means that you call things that happen as you walk it out. And then you'll be influenced other people. Wow, if he can speak it and walk in his authority, I can do the same thing too. Amen. See, Jesus, if he didn't want us to be like him, he wouldn't have said that in John 14, 12. He said, the work that I do shall you do. And greater work than these shall you do because I go away. Guess what? I'm so glad he went away. But he did not stay away. He came back in the person of the Holy Ghost living on the inside of his people now. So when we speak those things that not, it's him pushing out the word that we put on the inside, his promise. Can I get an amen right there? Hallelujah. Amen. <laughs> Glory to God. Amen. How do you command the blessing of God? Prayer. Father God, today I open my mouth and declare the word of God. I refuse to speak negative words. I declare God's promise concerning me in the name of Jesus. 
Hallelujah. I command my blessed to come to me from the east, from the west, north and south in the name of come to me now. See, when you speak those things, come to me now, you got to get loud and catch root. Oh, God. See, the word of God is a seed. Amen. So on the back side, it got a hard covenant to protect the seed on the inside. When you look at a corn or a bean, if you crack it open, they got something, the white thing on the inside, it real soft. That's the seed. The outside is the shell, it's the hull to protect the seed. So when you put the word of God on the inside, this thing is to protect that one inside. But you got a lot of Holy Ghost to push it out. He can't push nothing out when ain't nothing in there. Look at this. See, a seed, when you plant a seed in the ground, he got to carry the root before it come up. If you look at a tree and dig down the root, he have all those roots. He have one main root that goes straight down. Why, Pastor? Because that's the one going to grab the moisture and the wet part of the ground to go through all the other roots and come up. It takes time for that, for that seed to come up. You're not going to plant a seed in the ground that they expect for it to come up tomorrow. No. You plant in the ground and do what you're supposed to do and pray over it. It's going to come up when it catches root. When it catches root, it got to have something to stand on when it get up. Yes. Amen. See, the reason they have the root going down like this here and going like that and it's scratched out this way because when the wind blows, the top will bend, but the bottom part still standing because it's standing on the root that's been built. I say all of this to say that the word of God got to take root in your spirit. It take time when you put it, it's going to take time, but you speak it by faith and it's going to happen. Lord, how much I'm a living witness. It shall happen. So listen to this here. <clears throat> Open your mouth wide and command your blessing. I command my health. Soul prosperity, work, and plan to come to pass. Third John, third John, or third John one and two, they one chapter, you know, like, like you know, third John two. It said, Beloved, I wish above all things that thou might prosper and be in health, even as your soul prosper. God declare. That you're gonna prosper if you plant the seed on the inside of us. Amen. The seed ain't gonna grow if you don't work it. A seed don't like no lazy farmer. <laughs> and the ground don't like it either. The ground got to be like to be loosened up. So it can get out to that seed so it can begin to grow. The reason that it takes root down the inside up in the ground, because if don't, don't, don't root it out, the, the, the seed will grow any kind of way. But it got to have the root that can stand straight up and be strong. Oh God, how much of Jesus. Listen, Job 22 and 28 say, in the Amplified, you shall also decide and decree a thing, and it shall be established for you. <clears throat> and the law and the light of God, favor, shall shine upon it. What do Psalms 119, 105 say? For the word of God is a lamp unto my feet and a light to my path. So the word of God will be a light, a lamp to my feet. Lord, how much it, I got to bring the word out of me that it can direct me and shine light in my pathway that I will know which way to go. Can I get an amen in that house today? We got the cloud thing. I declare the day that I am 
who God say that I am. Hallelujah. I am the heirs of God and the joint heir of Jesus Christ. I am God's jewel. I am God's child. I've been adopted in the royal family. I know who I am. So I speak like I know who I am. I am a child of God. I am a child of the king. Oh, glory to God. Hallelujah. We got to speak it, y'all. We, we can command these blessings to come to pass. Don't get me wrong now. We got to make sure that our, our seed if not being contaminated with sin. Listen, if I plant a corn and it have all them other junk around it, I got to get it quick. The reason being that I get it quick because I don't want it to wrap around my root of my seed. Because if I let it stay, leave it alone and pull up, I pull up my plant. Can I get an amen? So we got to make sure our life, our life is clean. The best way we know how. I don't want nothing to stop my blessing. And I know you don't want nothing to stop your blessing. If you command something to come to pass, stop and check your life out. See what might hinder your stuff from growing. And whatever the Holy Ghost show you, get rid of it. Hallelujah. Oh, God. Mm -mm. Listen. Commanding the blessing, commanding the blessing is what God said, has said in his word. Mm. To bless you. Bless in the field. <laughs> Woo. Bless going in and bless coming out. I'm above, not beneath. I'm a lender, not a borrower. Oh God, how much is it? You can look at that, uh, uh, Deuteronomy 28, uh, 1 through 9. I don't want to take too much time going to read all that, but I'll let you read it. i just quote some of it. Listen, the blessing of obedience by faith will cause God to move. Blessing of obedience by faith will call God to move. God, I'm say. see, we got angels ready to go to work. Do you not know they come to work for you? They have an assignment. Whew. Psalm 91, verse 11, for he gives his angels charge over thee. To keep thee in all thy ways. They keeping you, baby. And they know exactly what you need. They sit there waiting on you to declare and proclaim your blessing so they can go to work. I pray you're getting blessed. I pray you're getting blessed today. Listen, God said, open your mouth wide. Do this. Wide. Now close it. <laughs> Psalm 81 10. I am the Lord thy God, which brought thee out of the land of Egypt. Open your mouth wide, and I will fill it. <laughs> Open your mouth wide, and I will fill it. You think God won't fill your mouth? He said, my word will not come back to me void. Whatever I send, he said, I'll do what I sent it to do. Right. What did Jesus, and you and your spiritual imagination, what did Jesus say when he got back to home, got back to glory? Father, mission accomplished. He said his word would not come back to him void, right? So you speak God's word by faith, it will not come back to God's void. It will bring back what he said he's going to do. Yeah. Amen, lights. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Uh, Proverbs 18 and 21. Death and life are in the power of the tongue. Ooh. They that love it shall eat the fruit there. If you speak positive and negative, it's going to happen. So path will flip the page. That's where I'm going. 
whether you speak positive or negative, it's going to happen. So let's say what God, what the word of God say. In Romans 8 and 17, and if children then as, as of God and joint out with Christ. Listen, if so be that we suffer with him, we shall be also glorified together. Now you think that all the blessing was upon Jesus. You think he didn't both to suffer? If the blessing upon your life, you think you don't both to suffer? If he went through things, you're going through things. But that don't mean you ain't blessed. That means that you are blessed among thousands. When I said that, that he said, uh, when the Rum said, I am the head and not the tail. Right. Did you expect Jesus to say, upon this rock, I'm going to build my church and the gates of hell shall overcome it?